Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 24th of August. I'm going to use the Golden Girls Tarot for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say about Wednesday and what energy you'll be working with. I'm just going to shuffle these a few times and then I'm going to choose three cards to see what's going on here on Wednesday. First card is the Tower in Reverse. Okay. And we have the Six of Wands. Best friend of the year awards, love that. And then the Queen of Cups, oh wow. So I'm getting that there's an opportunity to rebuild a friendship. It may be that someone you haven't heard from in a while um, congratulates you for your birthday or um, a relationship where you've kind of lost touch. Maybe you bump into each other and you have a conversation and you remember why you were friends to begin with. It could also be a dream that you had for your working life that didn't go anywhere, that kind of fizzled out maybe. You get an opportunity to revisit that and to say, hey, maybe this is still something I care about and something that crosses my mind once in a while, even years later. So maybe I should look back into this, whether it's moving or uh, a particular type of work, anything you're passionate about. And here with the Queen of Cups, it could also be... Um, fixing any type of relationship not just a friendship it could be um, an old colleague or it could be a romantic relationship so maybe an ex pops up but the thing about this is the reunion if someone does come back into your life or if it's a particular thing that reappears from the past it's likely to be a positive influence something pops up that's a good thing because the six of wands is all about triumph and success and and achieving something amazing. So if someone or something does reappear in your life, it's it's good news and it's it's welcome. So if it's an ex, then that's kind of a, a, an indicator that maybe the relationship ended for um, some sort of trivial circumstance that should that that would have been better to kind of. I'm not saying it properly. So instead of the relationship ending because you fell out of love or you weren't suited for each other, it may have been something like circumstances said one person had to move to Hawaii and the other one was in Spain and that's why you could no longer see each other. So if that kind of person then comes back into your life, it's a welcome reappearance and the cards are saying look into that relationship and see where it goes and be open to... Um, seeing if there's a second chapter. So the tower is a major arcana card. Oh, the shady pines. This is the, um, the, is it the convalescent home where Sophia is staying? Dorothy puts her in this home and she's really bitter about it. And then there's, a, it's a bit of a mystery whether Sophia actually causes the fire or there's just a fire happening at shady pines. She, anyway, after that she leaves. So this is that moment, in this case, lightning strikes shady pines and the place is burning. So the tower is when something like that, that's a major structure in your life, something that determines what your life looks like. So it can be, you know, your, your job or where you live or your family unit or your everyday routine. Something happens that really creates upheaval and chaos and it means that there's some sort of an opening and things can change and a new tower can appear. So when it's this way around, it means that um, things that you usually take for granted or things that are so settled in your life that you barely notice them, you know, that dusty part of the furniture kind of <clears throat> vibe, something goes missing or something changes, forcing you to kind of find new structures in your life. And it's often very uncomfortable and unpleasant. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, here we've got the tower in reverse. So this is really now about looking at what structures are going to appear of their own accord in your life. So it's the opposite of lightning striking. Things are solid already. And something also that's, that's reliable and structured either reappears in your life from the past or it appears for the first time. And if it's something that, either one really, if it appears for the first time or if it's something old that comes back, 
It's something that is worth pursuing because of the Six of Wands. Usually this is the card that shows King Arthur riding back into town with the Holy Grail and he's been successful in his mission and everyone's happy and everyone's pleased and they're all applauding. So it's, I have a desire to do something in life I go out and do it, I take a risk, and I come back triumphant and victorious. In this case, it's the best friend of the year award, okay? So this card says there's an opportunity to enjoy this moment of success and triumph. So if this new person or thing that comes into your life or reappears into your life, if you work with it and see where it leads you, it's going to be a success. You won't regret reconnecting. And finally, the Queen of Cups is a court card, and this is a, a, a person who appears in your life, or it's a characteristic that exists in you. And the Queen of Cups is someone who's very loving, very nurturing, and someone who you want in your life. So it's a great friend, or um, a partner, or someone who's emotionally available, and who can be really supportive, and is open to accepting your help and support, Communication is great. It's basically your soulmate. This is someone who is, is not going to be single for long because she's just so good at relationships and she has so many loving and lovable qualities so that pretty much anyone would want to be in a relationship with her because she offers what relationships are all about. Selflessness and love and support and compassion and seeing the best in the other person. <clears throat> and patience and forgiveness and all these good things right so if if the queen of cups is present here you embody all these positive qualities so if someone does reappear and you may have said in the past oh you know they betrayed me or they insulted me or it wasn't just that we were moving to different situations fundamentally we weren't compatible or whatever you may see that situation again today or revisit it and say actually i was being quite I was queen, being quite tough back then and maybe now that I've been reacquainted with this person or this thing on this day and I still feel something, maybe that's a sign that I should soften my heart a little bit and give this another chance because the likelihood of it working in your favor and being a huge success in your life is pretty much guaranteed with this card. So it's kind of a shortcut instead of working to create this whole new relationship with someone you don't know and getting to know them and things it's kind of like amending the past and and taking an old tower that already exists in your life and kind of repurposing it into a beautiful positive new structure in your life and a positive influence in your future okay so, number-wise, let's have a look. We've got, what is this, the um, 15, 16th card in the Major Arcana. So, we've got 16 here, and another 6 is 22, and 1 is 23, 2 and 3 is 5, and 5 in numerology is about freedom. That's interesting, because freedom, to me, is being... Um, not having all these structures in your life and having um, the ability to choose where you go and where you rest your head for the night and, you know, just being carefree and footloose. Here we're, we're getting that a structure comes back into your life, which open your arms to it because it will be successful and bring you good things. So I suppose it's emotional freedom or the emotional freedom to to amend something or the opportunity to amend something that didn't work in the past and to make it work in the present if you have that desire to revisit yeah so yeah okay so it's the freedom to to engage with this thing that appears from the past that was 20 years ago it's right in front of me now do i revisit this the cards are saying it's a really, really good idea to re revisit the past because it'll, it'll lead to a success in the present. But the numbers are saying you have the choice. Yeah, and there we go. Although it's not much of a choice. I mean, if it's guaranteed to be a success, I think most of us would jump on that. Okay, let me know how it goes in the comments and what pops up for you on this day. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.